Okay. okay, ready? Is your customer journey a brown llama? I'm going to talk you through awareness, <laughs> interest, purchase, advocacy, and loyalty as your customer journey as we go on an adventure to see the brown llama. <laughs> Alright, so Isla, when did we become aware of the brown llama? Was it when I was driving past and I saw it? Yeah. Awareness, how are you making people aware of your brand? You know, what, what's the first impression that you're giving people? Are you asking for something without giving them anything of real value? Um, are you asking them to buy without them actually understanding what makes you different to what they already have or what they could find if they just Googled your product? Um, and products that are similar, right? You could be um, doing marketing for your competitors if you're um, educating people about the problem they didn't know they had um, or an opportunity they didn't know was there and then you're just one of six different tabs that they open and then your website's not converting. Um, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity at the awareness stage to be adding value to people so that when they do look at competitors, you know, you've got some brand equity there. You know, you've got something that has um, built some personality, built some trust, built some authority, built some credibility. Now, what type of marketing channels are best at the awareness stage? Um, awareness is things like TV, it's things like radio, it's things like social media marketing, Google display. You're reaching out to people when they haven't come, they haven't shown you any significant level of buyer intent. Um, so for social media for example, um, you know, you're reaching people based on, if it's a cold audience, you're reaching people based on their interests, their demographics, or you've created a look-alike audience of people who are just like your customers, right? But they're not your customers, you know. These are people where there's a perfect opportunity for you to be adding value before you ask for something. Um, it's very important at this awareness stage to be just trying to build your brand equity and giving value to people through your content, right? Like this video. So to clarify, we became aware of the llama. It didn't ask for anything from us. We just thought it was cool, didn't we? And then we became interested in the llama, didn't we? Interest. This is where you really want to start um, educating people about your solutions. For example, in social media marketing, uh, well, Facebook and Instagram in particular, anyone who's watched more than three seconds of your video or they've engaged with any of your content, um, you can create a custom audience of these people. And then if you want, you can exclude people who visited your website. So you know that this is an audience who has been exposed to your content. And if you've been doing the right thing, you've been adding value. Um, it's a great opportunity to leverage the brand equity that you've been building. Try to send them to your website um, so that they can learn more about the solutions that you're providing or the products that you're providing. Um, it's also a great opportunity, uh, again, if we're talking social media marketing, to try to give them something of high perceived value in exchange for their contact details. Um, you know, a lead magnet, an ebook, a guide, you know, something that's, that's worth them giving their contact details and then you can do all kinds of cool stuff off the back of that with email nurturing and automation and um, you know, things like that. Um, but the idea here is that you've added value at the interest stage and then you're trying to get them to show the next level of buyer intent by uh, visiting your website. So we became aware of the llama when we were driving and then we took an interest in it. We considered other options, but we didn't end up going there. Um, we ended up converting, you know, what would be in the customer journey, um, a purchase, right? We made the decision, we went there, we converted into that as a destination.
The mindset here is that they are aware of your brand. They have shown a level of intent um, to uh, buy your product, but they haven't yet. Um, this is where website remarketing becomes really important. So whether it's LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Google, um, they give you a piece of code that you put in your website so that when people visit your website, they get a little tracking cookie put in there. And then when they go back to the platform, uh, they're put into an audience that accumulates over time, right? So you're accumulating an audience of people who have visited your website. Again, if you're talking social media marketing, you can do amazing things here. Like you can serve people the products back to them that they viewed or added to their cart but haven't purchased. Um, it's called dynamic product ads. Uh, this is always, hands down, the most profitable audience. The problem is you can't just smash that audience because you need to have built brand awareness, added value. Um, they need to understand your product, they need to see the value in your product or your service, and they need to have shown a level of interest. I'm talking about website remarketing. You can't retarget people with ads that haven't visited your, your website, right? Try to think of ways that you can overcome objections, overcome reasons that they didn't buy. If it's a price objection uh, for remarketing, you could think about an offer. Um, if you're a service-based business, it could be a free 30-minute consultation. Uh, it could be uh, an online webinar where you, you pitch and you sell at the end of it after adding a lot of value. You know, what are the tools that you can use to try to convert people who have shown interest into actually buying? Um, the channels that do really well here are things like Google Ads because um, they're in Google, um, paid search specifically. So you should have um, an ad there and split test, A, B test, whatever you prefer to call it, um, different offers, different things that you can get them to do to take the next step in your sales process. Google Ads is fantastic here. So is email marketing. Also, it's really important to think about your website conversion rate, as I mentioned before. This is your powerhouse that's there to convert all of the effort that you're putting in at the awareness and the interest stage. Um, as I said before, you could be educating people about a solution that they didn't know they needed and then they just look at it a competitor because their website's going to do a better job of converting them. So really important to think about you know, different marketing channels, website retargeting, website remarketing, your website conversion rate, how can you boost that um, at the purchase stage. So that converted into our destination, which is the purchase stage. Um, and uh, we talked to um, my wife about it, my kid's mum about it, um, we were advocating it. How can you incentivize people to recommend or advocate your product or your service to friends, family, colleagues. You know, there is nothing better than referrals or word of mouth for a business. The problem is there's always a glass ceiling. You know, we hit that ceiling about three years ago. Um, we work with people who hit that ceiling of word of mouth. It's been good up until a point, but they really want to start scaling the business, so they come to us to help them achieve that. Um, word of mouth is amazing, right? Because um, people recommending your product or your service, your solution to friends or family is free. And people trust people more than they do ads or business owners or salesmen, right? So um, it's really important to um, both capture that through testimonials, Google reviews, and incentivize that. Um, how can you help um, with, with the word of mouth? And this is actually the second time that we've uh, come to visit the Brown Llama, so we're loyal. Right, so this is the journey you need to be moving people through. Awareness, add value, don't ask for anything. Interest, you know, this llama is pretty interesting. It's different to anything around here. It's just at the end of our street. Um, it converted into being our destination. Um, we've talked to other people about it. My wife has actually talked to her sister about it. Um, she's advocating it, we're advocating it. And now we're loyal, it's the second time we've been there.